Over the last couple of years, more and more bikers have turned to adventure bikes. There is now an incredible selection of models to choose from. Several entry-level bikes have also entered this space, making these machines that were previously off-limits for new or aspiring riders more accessible than ever. Adventure bikes are the epitome of freedom, and in a world where it has become harder than ever to get away from it all. These bikes provide us with a means to do just that. In the past, adventure bikes were just plain expensive, but with a huge selection there are now several value-oriented alternatives. Yes, the venerable Dual Sport has indeed reinvented itself as a budget-friendly adventure bike. When it comes to off-road prowess, there is no substitute for this mountain goat of a bike. Unfortunately, mountain goats are not very fast, and neither is the KLR. It is pretty heavy for its 40 horses, so it can be arduous on long highway rides, and even though they did their best to dampen some of the single-cylinder vibrations, they too can still be felt. Even though the Himalayan technically has less power than the KLR, it is actually more refined and has proven to be equally reliable. Everything on the bike is made to a very specific budget, but it offers way more value than people give it credit for, and will stand up to just as much abuse as any of the Japanese bikes. If you are a beginner, new to adventure bikes, or vertically challenged, the 500X might well be the best bike for you. Both the KLR and the Himalayan are pretty heavy, and the KLR is still pretty tall for most riders. The Honda is far more road-oriented than those two though, and if you really want to hit the trails you will need to look at the burgeoning aftermarket. Although the price might look a little steep at first glance, the quality on offer more than makes up for it. It is also very good off-road and has bags of torque on tap. Their fueling is brilliant as always so whether you want to make a small jump on a trail or hit the apex of a corner the Tiger will deliver the perfect amount of power every time. Although it may not necessarily boast class leading looks, its V-twin power plant is far more appealing than any of the parallel twins and delivers smooth, predictable power. It is a well-built motorcycle that is chronically underrated. You will need to add a few things from the aftermarket if you want to do any off-roading though. Looks might be subjective, but few will go as far as saying they think the new KTMs are appealing. Once you get past that you have one of the best adventure bikes money can buy, it might not have all the added extras of the R model, but this base model offers far better value. The Touareg is the much anticipated adventure bike version of the versatile 660 platform. It is arguably the best looking bike in its class, and it backs that up with top-notch electronics and impressive off-road performance. It is a little more expensive than some of the direct competition, but if you are going to be doing more off-road riding, then the Aprilia is well worth it. When it first came out some years ago, the middleweight BMW was heavily criticized for being overpriced. Today, we can't go as far as saying the opposite is true, but what you get for your money is quite exceptional. It backs up class leading comfort with exceptional off-road ability. Instead of offering three different bikes like what most manufacturers do, Honda are covering all the adventure bike bases with two models. The 500X covers the beginner segment and the low end of the middleweight class, and the Africa Twin covers the rest. Africa Twin for less than any of the fancy middleweight bikes, so if you are confident you can handle its extra height and weight, it offers exceptional value, especially for those spending more time on the highway. The Yamaha owes a lot of its versatility to the tractable parallel crossplane twin, which finds a home in so many different bikes these days. It has a lightweight, flickable chassis that makes it a blast off-road. The Tenera is the closest you can get to a unicorn motorcycle, incredible off-road, great on-road, and all wrapped up in an affordable package. That's all for today's video guys, thank you for watching. Do consider subscribing my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.